Hello, John. Hello, Harman. And so there was a recent motion to stop chemical pesticide use brought before Cahir Cashel District meeting. Uh, Fine, Fine Gael Councillor John Cross, or Cross tabled the, the proposal. The motion was amended because the um, they said that there would be a problem then with Japanese knotweed. Um, so we're just talking about, you know, the, the, the proper use of chemicals and the improper use of chemicals. And I believe they should be used sparingly. Right. Because... Um... When they're used, you're, you should be wearing a mask because they can affect uh, uh, the human apparatus, if you like, the breeding and uh, that kind of thing. Because breeding in pesticides wouldn't be exactly a healthy a, a healthy business. And ones that are using it often have masks on them and um, and uh, all the rest of it. And they have a, a spray sort of a thing and they're, uh, with a machine and they're, they're doing it that way, you know. One of the problems, uh, you mentioned the Japanese not not weed. I think it's Japanese. I don't know how it landed here uh, from Japan. Uh, they didn't, you know, have Toyotas, but anyway, that's another story. So uh, suffice to say that uh, that's a noxious uh, weed. And it was often called noxious weeds in the past. And there was farmers were obliged to, to keep their land um, safe from that point of view. Uh, that it could have... Um, a serious effects, uh, but the business of of pesticides uh, by used by councils. Now the one in care, uh, Fine Gael, that are regarded as an election uh, gimmick, uh, quite frankly, uh, because in some cases they have to use it as say, but not weed, but also what they did in towns and all over the country, to put down uh, when you're walking on a footpath, the best way to do it is with a concrete. As so as you can walk safely. But what did they do? They put down bricks. And bricks, the smaller bricks, um, even if they have whatever it is between them, uh, it's a breeding crown, it's a it's a, a breeding place for, for yokes to come up uh, by way of weeds. Uh, so um so that's what they're doing there, uh, in towns. Uh, first of all, they no right to, to I don't know what the idea was with all these bricks. In in Kells, for example, I know in Navan, the, the town upside down and the, they took up the smaller bricks to put down larger bricks. And uh, I can't see, but they let me see the sense of it. Uh, because there's other parts and you could break your neck the way it's done. The main thing is to be able to walk on the footpath and walk. You don't need all that blinking stuff. And they put all sorts of little flower beds all around the place. And I don't know who's going to be able to look after them. They'll have to have a fleet of men uh, looking after all these um, things that they put down. Now, for me, it doesn't do anything. Because the main thing you want to do is be able to walk safely on the footpath. I don't like all these bricks. And sometimes they have some bricks on the road as well. You know, and really, uh, uh, yeah, the, the first thing is to be able to walk safely because the smaller bricks sometimes get loose and you could break your neck. You have to watch. I have to look at the ground when I'm walking and make sure there's not a brick sticking out because they're not safe. The concrete footpath. I, I'm in other countries and maybe in in where there's no traffic they might have something like uh, to make it look uh, okay. And years ago, uh, when roads were, uh, they had these kind of bricks uh, on the road, but they were really solid. And you see them in some towns in, in abroad. And, uh, you know, they would be hard to walk on in some ways. They're on the road, but they're, they're definitely very strong. So, uh, but the pesticides we're talking about, uh, they should be very rare. And of course, don't forget, one of the tragedies is that farmers use far too many chemicals. And uh, one of the things that I find quite obnoxious from the, from the point of view of what they do, and I don't know how it passed uh, the health business, this business of slurry on land, the smell it knock you down. You wouldn't want to be passing too many of them places. You get dizzy. It just matters more. And the worst of all is if there's a turkey farm or chicken, 
the slurry from them is nearly worse. No, you go to so movie. before it was it was it was um it was uh, fertilizer nearly. It, uh, uh, they didn't have all this slurry. There was uh, there was you you could you could put it in your vegetable plot. Everybody had a vegetable plot at home in my time, and we had it in boil and um, and we had our own vegetables and this that and the other and were very tasty. So um, that, that, and it was um, manure. It it wasn't this slurry. Yeah. No, yeah, when when you see that spread in field fields, uh, it apparently probably has some benefit with regard to the grass. But if cattle is eating that, you see, you see where I'm coming from. You don't know what the heck is is already in 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 the meat by way of uh, the way of um, the sort of additives and all the rest of it, and what they put on the on the land to make it grow. For some kind of fertilizer, this, that, and the other. Three ten twenty, I think they used to call it something. Ten ten twenty on the land. Mm -hmm. You can do too much of that, and I think uh, you know this business out where you pay more for the food if it's um if it's grown properly and that you know without any of that kind of thing, it commands a better price because people are prepared to pay that for the for the not have any of these pesticides. Um. There's a name for it. Um, it, it's, it. There's no pesticides. It's 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 grown natural, and it's the best. And that's the way it used to be. Food was lovely in this country. The vegetables and the uh, they weren't always uh, washed and all the rest of potatoes. You'd, you'd get potatoes and you had to start to wash them yourself because they were but they were, they were lovely. And I remember them boy they used to call big care pinks big flowery lads. That's right. And you could sort of, they were lovely. Now you get a potato, you don't know where, where it's coming from. And it seems to be full, put it in the pot and there's nothing but suds coming out of it. So you, don't know what, <laughs> They're well, you don't know what's in, in all this by way of additives and this, that and the other to keep them fresh. You buy an apple and they're all red. You might have been eating cardboard. There's no taste after them. Years ago, when you went into an orchard and helped yourself to a bag of apples, uh, of course, you put a bag of apples or a basket of apples and brought them home, and you had a grand time because there was a lovely taste of them. They were grown on trees. Yeah, look, I think, I think sprays in general, they should be minimised in towns. I, I think they should put up um, notices if they're using, for example, Roundup in a small town and you, you got to remember what people forget is that when you have a mother and a child and a little child is only about two foot high or two and a half foot high, three foot high, maybe. Okay. Um, so yeah. you'll see guys spraying. Some of them don't wear masks. They're using a roundup, but it's the child that's passing the spray. Who's at the lower proximity. You okay, John? Correct and right. Okay. So the child uh, is at the lower proximity to the spray. So th it's exactly. the child that gets it. We didn't have that. I'm going to show you a photograph here. I just stand up. Oh, sorry, I rattled the table. I want to show you a photograph. Sometimes you take something down, something else falls. Now, there's there's two two little uh, scuds. I I'm on on the I'm uh, here <laughs> there and. Uh, it's my grand aunt Josie, and we're sitting on the windowsill in Holt. Okay. And your brother Don is there. He is a sour puss, and what I have And uh, so we see we were sitting on the window, and making sure the must we must have been hoisted up there. Uh, but um, the thing is that uh, these these when you're that age, you're 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 not aware of anything. And when I was young, there was none of that kind of stuff. So with the result, you were as healthy as anything. Yeah. Because you weren't you weren't saddled with that kind of thing. Do you see where I'm coming from? Mm -hmm. But now be goodness you don't know what what's in food. Because sometimes you're buying food, as I say, when you put a potatoes into a pot and you're going to sort of have them so you you're taking out more of the old suds or whatever it is this is. You know? So you have to be careful. And uh, the same with cabbage, you don't know where it's coming from either. Is a grown here, it, it did never say where it's grown. But years ago, you got it in the 
in the grocer shop and it, it was lovely because farmers brought it in mm-hmm. and it was grown so, naturally with so manure so and so that so kind of thing. There was mm-hmm. none of this other stuff put into it. Yeah. So the taste was lovely. Apples and everything that you could eat was 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 free of all this sort of stuff. Uh, this was something that come in l- later when they were trying to maximize returns, you know, that type of way. That's always dangerous, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Pesticides. There uh, we go. These, but to put down concrete pads, you don't have to lay lay uh, Bricks. pesticides in a concrete pad mm-hmm. unless the lights are out up here. Very good. Thank you very much, John. That's what you have. You want to walk safely, don't you? You Not tripping over bricks. Very good. Thank you. Thank you.